Hey y'all, so I just came back from seeing Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, and it was amazing, 10 out of 10, totally recommend, obviously. And because it's only the Saturday after it came out, I can't really tell much about the plot of the movie because y'all haven't seen it yet. So I'm definitely going to be writing a blog post on the movie once I've seen it a couple more times, because I know I'm going to. But um, yeah, if you were thinking of not going to see it, you need to go see it because it's amazing. The cinematography is beautiful as always. Wakanda is just as beautiful as it was in the first movie. And the way that they also tackle the Mesoamericans is beautiful as well. The culture down there is super incredible and amazing and just beautiful. And the way that they go underwater this time is just gorgeous. And yeah, like I said, I can't really say much about the plot because there's a lot of things that if I talk about them, you're gonna know some things that you probably wouldn't know unless you've read the comics. So, um, yeah, just know that it was an incredible movie. They do an amazing job of honoring Chadwick and T'Challa. And they, get, they make it so that he ends up dying in the beginning of the movie, obviously. Because, you know, you can't have T'Challa still alive. So they kill him off and they do this really beautiful ceremony for him. And then some other things end up happening and they do another beautiful ceremony in the end. And we find some things out about him and um yeah I, I see i can't tell you anything i just can't tell you anything all i can tell you is that it's a 10 out of 10 you need to go see it it's beautiful it's just the first movie was just so incredible because it was the first time we'd really seen that kind of magnitude when it came to black superheroes when it came to black people in general and just the positivity and the afrofuturism and this one just feels just as great and just as like awe-inspiring and amazing and just like uplifting for black people and like people from the continent and just like, you know, the, the diaspora in general, because we actually go into different realms of the diaspora um, and places in the diaspora this time, which is beautiful. Um, and it's also a story about um, when you lose somebody and you have to basically find your place in your circle of life i guess again i can't tell mu tell you guys much because you know y'all haven't seen it obviously i ain't trying to be that person on the internet who spoils everything so i can't say anything but just know shuri Letitia wright killed it okay incredible now as much as i am glad that they tackled the Mesoamerican culture and everything that goes around that I don't really like that they made them the enemies didn't really like that now I get where the movie was coming from and again I can't spoil it so I can't really tell you a lot but there's a lot of nuances around that um but I am glad that they opened that world up and made them a part of the MCU because I think that's important and as a black and indigenous person I'm just really excited for that to be its own thing in itself. Um, and I hope that more indigenous cultures end up being part of the MCU and we get to see them in that light. Um, but this time don't make them the enemies. But um, yeah, this movie was just incredible. And um, like I said, I will definitely probably be seeing it again with my parents probably. And just, you know, I value this story a lot because there was a lot of things in this story that I could relate to in a lot of ways. Um, even if my situation was a little bit different, I can relate to certain things and aspects of this movie when it came to like losing a family member and just having to pick up the pieces of certain things around that. Um, and yeah. This was just incredible, incredible. And um, yeah, I just recommend checking it out. I, like I said, I can't say much. That's the thing, like this is really hard for me because I can't say much because it's only the Saturday after it came out. So I can't say a lot, but I just really do recommend going to check it out. It's, you're just gonna be really happy with it. And you might cry a couple of times because there were some tearjerker moments, obviously, because you know, this was a tribute movie and also some other things end up happening that make you cry even more and um 
yeah mcu movies just tend to have you crying a lot recently like there's been at least like three or four movies that i've seen within the last few years that have just made me cry and i'm just like the mcu needs to not do that because um <laughs> why so emotional anyways um so yeah go see the movie please so we can talk about it and i can put out a real review and y'all can really feel see the feelings i have about the movie and by then i'll probably have seen it a couple times so that's good and um like i said go see this movie go check it out you will be happy you did because it is just really really beautiful the music is great rihanna did a great job and another thing y'all gonna stop coming at rihanna because she decided to put out music or you know ryan coogler asked her to put out music for this movie because that's what she was doing she was putting out a tribute song or songs for this movie and for chadwick and t'challa and you need to not come at her about how she didn't put out like a dance record maybe she will next year after the super bowl but leave her alone because her music is actually really beautiful and fits well into this movie so anyways um yeah everybody who was associated with this movie killed it 100 percent and you know you would think there would be like this hole missing in the movie because chadwick because t'challa isn't there and in some small ways it does feel that way it doesn't feel as mighty i guess but at other times you have to remember that he's not there and so you just have to roll with the punches and you know it still had some moments that were funny but it had a lot of like moments that made you think and a lot of like soul searching moments and you really like took shuri's character into consideration around a lot of things that she had to go through throughout this movie so yeah recommend 10 out of 10 go see the movie i don't know what else to say since i can't say much but this is my like quick little review like i said i'll probably have a bigger like wider scope review of the plot and everything and how i feel about everything on my blog which is ice turtle girl dot blog but that won't be for like a week or two because i don't want to spoil stuff for you guys but um yeah this is just my quick little review go check it out 10 out of 10 beautiful cinematography the characters were great the actors killed it even having you know to fill such big shoes they really really blew it out of the water and yeah i'm just really happy that cultures are being talked about and shown on the big screen because it's really important and i value the creation of these worlds and the um honoring of such really beautiful spiritual and grand cultures and i really hope that in the future more of these movies can be made and um yeah that's all i really have to say um, go see the movie, 10 out of 10.